Community Award is given in loving memory of Mary Ellen McGee, a longtime resident of Topfield who was selfless, generous, helpful, and thoughtful. She demonstrated these qualities through her service to many community activities, such as Topfield Recreation Committee, Hawk, the American Red Cross, Strongest Link Aid Services, Tesco, and Campfire Girls. Each year, this award is presented to a member of the community at this event. Candidates for the award are those who demonstrate superior service to Topfield through contributions of time and talent, which honor Mary Ellen's legacy. At this year's recipient is an Air Force veteran, a 17-year instructional assistant at Proctor School, an ABC House student sponsor, a member of the St. Rose Choir, and a truly special human being to all who know her. Her service to our country, our elementary school students, and our community is exemplary. On any given day, you may find her organizing the annual Veterans Day Assembly at Proctor, or working with a group of sixth graders to support their fundraising efforts to help a child with cancer, or fight, writing a feature story for our local newspaper or helping sixth grade students at Proctor be all that they can be. For example, when a student is frustrated, she helps them out. When a student is stuck in a problem, she shows them another way. When a student is having a bad day, she is there to brighten it. Not only do students at Proctor learn from this year's recipient, we are also in constant awe of her strength, tenacity, and grace, the face of challenge. As a cancer survivor herself, she so shows us each day how to live a life of courage. In short, we all strive to be even a little more like her. Please join me in a big round of applause as we present the 2019 Mary Ellen McGee Award to Mrs. Mary Felto. <laughs> What a tough act to follow. I, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, can I just, my, my children tell me often that I'm a cold, heartless woman. Um, because I never cry. Sasa Riley, you have done the impossible. <laughs> thank you very much. I did very short remarks. Um, when I retired from the Air Force, I knew I was not only leaving my profession, but I was also leaving my military community. It had nurtured me, taught me how to accomplish a mission, how to work as a member of a team, and provide support to others. Shortly after, we moved to Topsfield, and I quickly realized that all I feared I had left behind was very present in my new community. From TESPO and the TEAA, to the Boys and Girl Scouts, to the ABC organization and church programs, there are ample opportunities for all of us to volunteer and support one another. In fact, that seems to be where I met and formed some of my very best friendships. But support goes beyond volunteering for the benefit of an organization. And I learned that lesson very clearly when I was diagnosed with breast cancer on two separate occasions. Because it was then that I dearly needed the support of my friends, my Proctor School family, and the people who were often just acquaintances to make life continue to go on for me and my family. It was the individuals living and working in this town who supported me, who held me up, who kept my spirits lifted, who exemplified the truest meaning of the word community. These people were and continue to be my pillars. That you have nominated and selected me to stand tall among all the pillars of this town. My hands are shaking. Who have given me and countless others their strength and support for so many years is indeed an honor. Thank you to anyone who thought enough of me to take time from their day to write a nomination and to meet a deadline for an award. Thank you to those on the selection committee who deemed me worthy and to those of you here in the cold smiling so warmly at me. And thank you finally to my neighbor, Mary Ellen McGee, for setting an example of kindness, caring, and community that we all strive to follow. Thank you. Merry